What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So to round off happened last time, well this happened, the garrison at Jerusalem are sallying out. So I should be going forward to meet them, but not too close, because they have mortars. So let's get cracking. Plan is to take, to take Jerusalem, it's hard and fast, need to start taking, because I'm going to lose a lot of income from trade. And I'm going to hold on for a few turns, get building all of my economic infrastructure up, then declare war. So my tax balance starts to, it starts to even out a bit. Because the, the, the real math will be, if I declare war on, will be declaring war on Persia first, who is allied. If I declare on the Persians, who will back them? Okay, now let's just sit back. Sit back, let my gun shred them. The mighty Ottoman Empire. It's not a great field of fire, but it'll do. General here. Tiny little unit of howitzers. Get here and fire. Let's see where the where the auto let's see where the fire wheel is going to engage. If at all. Camel gun as it is then. The Janissaries. See how they get on. Got some hits, got some misses. Zindari. Is it Zindari or? Zamindari. Zamindari horsemen. Um, if they want to charge, well, they can't hit. They can't hit my flank here. It's just not possible. Because well, maybe if they come up through here, but yeah, they can't charge up this ridge, and this ridge goes all the way to the end of the battle zone. So oh, there you go. Got some good hits on the camels. Made them route, I'd be happy. Concentrate my artillery on them as they're already vulnerable. Ooh, if they miss as well, they'll hit the second unit. Nope, there we go. It's then broken. Okay, now this wing. Maybe it's something a bit close to home. This wing on the left, however, start hitting that unit of horsemen. Mm, they got some. Get my howitzers to start aiming at the cavalry as well. This wing should be fine. Jackson is taking fire, they are concerned. Riskers of souls. These look like a bunch of scallywags. Right, oh. Now line infantry start to engage the cavalry. Not very well, but it doesn't need to be very well. Good. Okay, now you guys start aiming at something further off. Aim the Janissary unit to the rear. Oh, 
and the howitzer crews aren't coming out. No, no, they've already come out to play. Wherever they are. Is that them? Yes, it is. <laughs> African infantry guards. So these are why I'm recruiting some of my other campaigns. They're pretty good. These are, um, these are bow cavalry. So my house is a bit of canister shot. Cure what ails them. You aim at the Janissaries, you aim at the African infantry guards. Next volley they'll be within range. Cossacks will soon be engaging. This is slovenly bunch as they are. There we go. What a brilliant firing position. Hmm, it'll do. Canister shells are incoming, janissaries are going down. See what's happening. I wasn't about to let them. I wasn't about to let them ruin my. <laughs> get a free shot on my artillery. Like the other campaigns I've done. Okay, and let's fire a will, because they won't fire. They'll take a bit of time for them to fire before my cavalry gets in range. Both aim at the Janissaries. Charge out, because they're going to get my guns otherwise. No, they're not. Run! Change your mind. in. Get both of these units firing on the African infantry guards and let my Cossacks push through the push through the flank. You need to run out and come in from the rear. You're just going to smash right into them. You need to run as well. Now hit them. Get a bit of envelopment going. Hit from the rear. Mm, let's get my cavalry involved. Smash right into them. All of my artillery round shot into these camel nomads. God, people gone flying. I saw those bodies. Let's 
four map the line. Just let my cavalry run riot. General's dead. All right, everyone's fleeing. I'll keep on the camel nomads, I suppose. Getting in the range of my Cossacks. They are Janissaries, they are elite units. Um, however, I just, have, I just have three units of Cossacks. So. Right, let's get them up on this ridge. Good, for a minute I thought that was my regiment of horse routing. <laughs> There we go. Pouring fire. Oh, and they've routed. Is that everyone? It is. What I'm going to do... Halt battle. Get my unit of... Get a unit of cavalry onto those grenadiers. Then get my other cavalry unit onto the, another unit of... Janissaries, because they're the elites. I don't know if I've won this battle or not. Um, I mean, they've sallied out, but they do sometimes sally out when, even though they've got turns left to go. So let's just chew them up, just in case. So these are only Garrison or Seredes. Then there's only three of them and they're all spread out anyway, so... Chop. Only one left. Chop. Okay, these guys to hit the African Infantry Guards. Basically, anything with a Janissary in it, I want to annihilate. So once they're dead, you can spin around and have at this unit. Don't know where the hell they're going. Oh, this unit of Janissaries is just spread everywhere. The, this uh, triple speed it. Um, I doubt I'll kill any more actual units because they're spread out so far. My cavalry will have to run all over the map. But I can do lots of damage. In lieu of actually destroying a unit, I will take heavily damaged. Unless I've... <laughs> Excellent. Chop. Chop. Now, nah, see, it's not the final battle, but... Mm, I somewhat doubt that the Ottomans will make peace, um, but it's worth a try. Oh yeah, now the Swedes are just going to blockade my port. It's almost like the Mughals know. Ah, they're stealing my tech. That's all the pretense I need. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. So that's the remnants of all my all my uh, damaged forces. Port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. Oh, Sweden. All right, let's try a piece of Sweden again. Because they're at war with lots of countries. Quest peace, threaten. Nope. Okay, let's get my Finland garrison up and out. Yeah, let's just chop that. 
so they're already replenishing. Right, I am going to build some walls for Finland and build some garrison infantry. Oh no, I was going to withdraw, wasn't I? Yeah, let's do that. Let's keep doing that. Withdraw this army back, I can use it elsewhere. Particular, well, mostly to send it over down to... Down through Persia. Three full stacks. I can try and knock out Persia straight away, then take out Afghanistan and ba Balochistan, and then start pushing on down into India to open up Indian resources. I do need to garrison this port, however. So let's recruit a militia unit. Let's not build that. Let's instead build. So road's still good. You're going to export. Very poor. Right, so first let's start with... Wealthy ironworks are worth a lot of cash. Monastery school. Yep, yeah, let's keep going. I'm going to need increases uh, spawn rates. I think of of uh, orthodox missionaries, which I'll need if I'm going to push into um, the Middle East. Let's get my rake down here to have a look at Persia. Ports blockaded, lots of construction being done. Georgia's open for trade. Who are they trading with? Oh, they're pretty much the internal stuff. Two new towns. Oh, yeah, this one in this one in Baghdad and then this one in Moldavia. So what I'm gonna do down here in Baghdad is uh, make another church school to spread my religion. Normally I'm not that bothered by it. I don't really spend much time spreading religion. Um, but this time it could be worth doing. Let's get another unit of line to spend my last cash. 21,000 because I've lost trade with Persia and Spain and Prussia. Cool. End turn. Ah, here comes my other stack. Yeah, just need to be very, very careful because this could blow up in my face. Me declaring war on India could, but we'll see. I'm fairly sure because lots of countries are in very good standing with me. They won't try it. I don't think. I think I don't know realistically how much difference that makes. Even countries that really, really like you will betray alliances and continue being very, very, very poor qualities of people. Oh, that's why I was at, that's why I was at war with Prussia because of Poland. Oh, see, look at this. Why is it? oh, it's it's a toss of a coin. <laughs> oh, classic empire. Yeah, if I can knock, I'll maybe make them a protectorate. So I'll make them. I'll, I'll, oh, that'd be an interesting offer. I'll make them a protectorate if I give. Will they be my protectorate? And that'll be like a bulwark against people in people fighting in the in Europe. Not even going to be as clever with this one. <laughs> Not that I was clever to begin with, but... Like, that's literally all they have. Eh. I'll let them limber these just to keep them under pressure.
That and the elevation does mean I can quite comfortably fire from behind my own troops. The general's already dead. Poor armed populace. You could live so prosperously under a Russian rule. It's not too late. Well, for some of you it is. Increasingly num increasing numbers of you it is. Run. Good. Run. Oh, one last unit of Janissaries. their drummer or their trumpet player one of them the camel gunners are still wavering mm, this was the unit I accidentally these are the units accidentally sent forward to fire rather than my artillery, which was the plan. Let's speed up a bit. There we go. Ah, oh, look at that. Bit of long range artillery, but we'd have to knock them out. There you go. That's the last of them. Is that everyone? Good. Damn right, it's a heroic victory. Hmm. Oh, 26. But Jerusalem is mine. Although I have to send some back straight away to Damascus. Unless I declare peace with the Ottomans now. No, but ugh. see, Cairo is valuable. But what happens with Cairo is that the British Empire likes to land. Likes to land there. Oh, I forgot Persia has the Italian states. Damn, so I wouldn't even knock them out. The best chance. It's the most in one of the most immoral to India. The opportunity to construct useful buildings here has yet to be exploited. Of course it's been yet to be exploited. I only just captured it. Destroy the governor's residence. Destroy the school of poetry. Send these guys out to chop up them. Move them on ready to engage them. Cease bridges and rest four. What buildings, villages have you got? No, oh, you get one. That's it, one and a port. So this is a trade port. Well, this has two trade ports. So I'm going to give you a fishing port. Try grow your population because you are destitute. Holy moly, only 27 gold. No, 273 gold. Growing very slowly. Let's see if we can do this. And send them on, send them to there. Chop, chop, chop. And back in. Good. They respect strength. Although I now have to start spreading. Um, orthodoxy, religious orthodoxy. Mm, pretty happy. Still a bit of religious unrest, but I'll take it. Until this happy and orthodoxy is growing, so oh there isn't any religious unrest anyway. But anyway, let's go back to here. Cause even a basic level building, three hundred, and it cost me oh, I take four turns to get the Rolf back. High yield farm though. It's pretty good. Hmm. 
New town. Oh, that was that. Yeah, that was that one. Okay, so we can build things I've built. Oh God, top, top universities, clamor for reform so high. Let's get gunnery school and army board just so I can recruit new. Um. Right, research new tech. Come back to Finland. Try to provoke them to come towards me while I get another turn of replenishment. Don't waste my time trying to repair. Baghdad is recruiting, and I think that's probably going to be the rest of my troops sorted. Let's build a military academy. Mushroom infrastructure like metal roads, good. Still need time to get oh, rashed. Rashed is developing. Where's rashed? There. Well, that's ganja. Yeah. Um, rashed. Azerbaijan. You're quite a prosperous little town, aren't you? Wealthy, average yield, very poor monastery, low yield farm. Hmm. We'll see. Of course, all my researching is going okay. African light infantry. Do I get any riflemen? I do get riflemen, sharpshooters, grenzers. Aggressive skirmishers, armed with the usual double barreled musket. And usually they carry double headed over and under muskets, like two shots. This individual weapon doubles the firepower of a Grenzi unit compared to any skirmishing force. Hmm. Fascinating. So, let's get. Well, instead of researching diamond, you probably want to progress up to. Shrapnel shot's probably more beneficial. Then again, you are a low-level uni, so let's get this um, Nizni on Taka shot. Let's get you on. Probably start ticking through some naval tech, but anything, I guess. And then he's working on basic land drainage. Oh, see, that's not as much of a priority. You should work on hmm. start working with the, these these remaining techs. Now we've got the university to start really maxing out the earning potential. Let's get you down on this road. Try again, Igor Nitkin, brave soldier, plus two morale. With cannon foundry. Cool, let's hit end turn. Mm. So you're at, no, you're at war with Poland, so I don't want to give you too much, Austria. Sorry. Hmm. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. See if the British and the French react as how I hope they will. Because apparently the Brits, yeah, the Brits do like to attack Cairo. It's a thing that they find quite popular. Why are you leaving Königsberg? This is going to be a situation I find myself in. Am I going to be engaged in a war against the Mughal Empire and the Swedes to the north and the Brits and the French and eventually um, the Prussians through Central Europe? Because if I am, I need to win in India. There's a portal. 
built in this region yeah, have not of... yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct. What kind of port are you? Very poor. But you will add turn wealth to the region. And Tbilisi is reasonably wealthy. More towns. Excellent. Let's keep going. Just keep upgrading the industry. So I've upgraded all the farms, or most of the farms. I know it's not very efficient to be upgrading these, but needs must. Add more pelts to trade. Like, if I don't upgrade them, then they'll always stay poor, and they'll always be low wealth. I need to, I need to spend the money to make the money. No sense of shame. <laughs> Good. Try to take him out, because he's right there. Nope. Let's pull them. Stay in stay in Athens. You are going to fall back. Oh, no. Can you not, honestly, not go anywhere except... Okay, let's try this. There are walls in Istanbul, and eventually they're taking a liking to me. Catholicism's on the rise. Oh, damn it. Okay, let's see if we can sneakily build a church school in. And Skiopi. Skiop is going to expand. I don't know where. Is it up here? Yeah, it's probably going to be raided before I can build it. Let's get some Just get some more bodies for now. And then let's get another round of replenishment going. Cool. Ultimately, ultimately I'm gonna need to take them out push down, fight battles as they occur all the way down here, then try and take Stockholm. I could hop across the gap, but then there'll be loads of Swedish armies around here just raiding all my stuff, so I need to literally push them out. Which is unfortunate. Um, anyway, looking at the time, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.